In this short film on cataracts, I will explain what a cataract is, how we treat it, and what aftercare is required. In the case of a cataract, the crystalline lens loses its transparency. The crystalline lens is a small lens behind the pupil that converges light rays onto the retina, and this enables the eye to focus, very much like a traditional camera. If the crystalline lens becomes uniformly opaque, it will let fewer light rays pass through and vision will progressively blur, with possible dulling of colour vision. If only a part of the crystalline lens becomes opaque, light sources can become troublesome, especially at night, affecting activities such as driving. Vision tests, however, might suggest that your vision is otherwise still quite good. If only the central nucleus becomes opaque, ghosting of vision can occur in the affected eye. Surgical treatment. Cataract treatment always involves surgical intervention and the aim of surgery is to replace the crystalline lens which has become a cataract with an artificial lens implant. The next section shows how a cataract operation is generally performed. At the beginning of the procedure, the eye is filled with a viscoelastic gel that will protect the eye tissues, notably the cornea, and create a space in which to operate. I will then remove the anterior capsule, which is the crystalline lens membrane envelope, by completing a technique known as capsulorexis. I use an ultrasonic probe through a small incision in a technique known as phacoemulsification. The cataract inside the membranous envelope is broken down and aspirated, leaving the posterior envelope intact. This membranous structure is known as the capsular bag. I then place an intraocular lens in the bag and the lens loops will provide stability. The convergence power of the lens implant has previously been calculated by biometry. Aftercare. Before you leave the hospital, you'll be given your prescription eye drops, and the name of the eye drops, the frequency of use, and the duration of treatment will all be explained. Your vision will improve progressively in the days following the operation, and in some cases, your optimal vision may be obtained after changing your old spectacle prescription. After your operation, you may read, watch television, walk, bend, and carry on with most of your daily activities. However, you do need to respect a few precautions for about four weeks after your operation, but especially in the first week. Do not rub your eye. To reduce the risk of accidentally rubbing your eye in your sleep, you will be given a clear plastic shield to wear at night for the first week. A direct shock can reopen the cataract wound, so I recommend you avoid sports for a few weeks after surgery. Don't let anything irritate your eye. Be careful not to get shampoo or soap in your eye and do not use swimming pools for a few weeks after surgery. Finally, avoid all sources of infection. An infection in the eye after cataract surgery is a very serious complication that necessitates emergency treatment. If you experience redness or pain in the eye, or you experience a sudden loss of vision in the days after surgery, you should contact the emergency number given to you at the time of hospital discharge. Most people do very well after their cataract surgery, and the improved vision makes a significant difference to their quality of life. Thank you for watching. Do give the video a like if you found it helpful, and subscribe to this channel for more videos. 
If you would like more information, do visit my website at www.rahilazakir.com.